Uh, What's been? Where's all your money gone, Donnie? Taxes. That's right. In today's video, we're going to be talking about taxes and how we pay our taxes being an Etsy seller full time. I have my notes here ready to talk. This video is going to be very professional, which is why I got my my white button up shirt, why there's birdies tweeting in the outside. Uh, but in all seriousness, just a disclaimer before this video, I am not a tax expert. I'm not a CPA. I uh, have no legal ways of telling you what to do or anything like that. So this is all my opinion. This is what we've done for the past four years with our business. And so I just wanted to share with you, uh, some of those Etsy sellers that are watching this, uh, how we pay our taxes and how we work with all the legal side of everything with our business so we don't get thrown in jail <laughs> so i just want to just talk about everything go through everything uh the the main highlights i'm going to talk about is how we pay uh, what service we use uh how we know what to pay <laughs> like what is taxed and everything like that uh, what we buy things with on our, with our business what credit cards we use that have the best rewards uh, to help mitigate the tax costs and everything like that and so let's just dive right into it how we pay our taxes is through turbo tax i'm gonna have a little picture somewhere uh, with this new video editing software that i just downloaded i can now put more things in this as you saw at the beginning the meme but we use turbo tax self-employed uh, it's not free i think it's 150 dollars to file but it's super easy to to use because all you need to do is have your expenses, your what you made with Etsy, and then it will calculate how much you owe in taxes. So we do it all ourselves uh, with, with Etsy and with TurboTax. And how we know what to pay is we, if you go on Etsy dashboard, there's the thing called taxpayer ID. And I'll put up a screenshot of this is our taxpayer ID from 2019. Uh, some of the months are cut off just to not have it super full, but we made about 126,000. I, I don't, I'm outside, so I don't have the information on me, but you can see on the screen how much we made. So 120 something thousand that year in sales revenue. But of course that's not all taxed because we had the cost of goods sold. Uh, we had overhead, we had, we had to renew our LLC. We had to pay for our office, we had to pay for internet, we had to pay for gas, we had to pay for our phone that we use. So there's a lot of expenses that you wanna keep track of and help mitigate the amount of tax that you pay at the end of the year. And so on that two, 120 whatever thousand, the amount that we were taxed was about half because we our margin is about half of what our revenue is. So then we were taxed on that so we ended up paying about 2000 or so in taxes the last year, which isn't bad. I mean, we have three kids and so we have other deductions and everything like that that help us out. Why, how we keep track of everything. So some people use uh, QuickBooks. QuickBooks is a great source to use because whatever credit card or whatever bank you use for your business, it keeps track of all your expenses. And then it also keeps track of the money that's coming in. For us, all of our banks are connected. We don't have a separate bank account or account for our business. So what I do is I just use a simple Google Doc, which I'll show a picture up here. And I have it all blacked out just to not show all of our personal information, how much we made, even though I just showed you how much revenue we made last year with Etsy. But what we do is we keep track of whatever we spend. So let's say we spend $1,000 on onesies. Then in the expenses, I'll put in thousand dollars and it'll just keep track over the year of how much we've spent and then on the income or the revenue and then on the end it just has it set to show us how much we need to pay in tax or like our taxable amount of money on the end of the spreadsheet if you see wherever I put it so that's how we keep track of everything to know what we need to pay uh, at the end of the year points of advice is to ask for professional help if you are worried about everything but if you're not, uh, I would use TurboTax because it's really simple. It's online, you can do it yourself. It's pretty cheap in my opinion. And 
Another way that we mitigate our tax cost is through the credit cards that we use because of their rewards systems. And so we use two main credit cards. We use the Chase Freedom Unlimited card, which is one and a half percent cash back on everything. And then we have an Amazon uh, rewards card, which is 5% back on Amazon purchases, which we get a lot of our supplies from Amazon. But if you want to do these credit cards, I, the first link in the description will be a referral code for you for the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. And what that card, what that reward would be is $200 for you after you spend $500 in the first three months. So if you buy groceries with it, if you pay your rent or whatever, in a couple of weeks, you'll have already spent the $500 and then you'll get $200 for free for signing up. And I too get a bonus. I think I get $100. So we both win-win if you use the referral code uh, down below. So I planned on making this video really long and in-depth, but to be honest, there's not much more to say because it's pretty simple in my opinion. Uh, I don't really like to complicate taxes too much, but we use TurboTax self-employed. We do it all ourselves. We make sure we keep track of all of our expenses, everything we use for the business and we just lay it all out there. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for any future videos for this channel, please also leave those down below and I would be happy to get to them once a week. As you can tell, I've been pretty consistent. So I think the new schedule uploads will be Mondays at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We live in Utah, so if you live in Utah, that's 9 a.m. for you but I'm gonna do my best to make a video every single week and post uh, Monday at 9 a.m. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing uh, uh, and I'm happy to help you guys. So again, this video wasn't all flashy and fun or full of tips and tricks to make you a million dollars, but it's just some legal things that you need to do and just kind of what we do at the end, end of the year to pay our taxes. So. Much love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.